The main reference used in coming up with this presentation is the book of Walpole, Myers and Myers entitled Probability and Statistics for Engineers and Scientists, the sixth edition. In this video, I'll explain the covariance of two discrete random variables. And so the two random variables, X and Y, can be computed using any of these two formulas. Sigma XY is the standard notation for covariance. Now, covariance XY is equal to the expected value of these two products, X minus mu of X times the quantity Y minus mu of Y. The second equation is the computational formula for covariance. Sigma XY is equal to the expected value of XY minus mu of X times mu of y. If x and y are both discrete random variables, the formula for covariance is given by this equation. Sigma xy is equal to the double summation over x and over y of these products, the quantity x minus mu x times the other quantity y minus mu of y times the probabilities f of xy. Let's have this example. Let X and Y be random variables with joint probability distribution given by this table. We are to find for the covariance of X and Y. In the solution, we'll be using this computational formula. Sigma XY minus is equal to the expected value of XY minus mu of X times mu of Y. To compute the covariance, we'll follow these three general steps. First, we'll compute the expected value of xy. Then, we'll compute the expected values of x and y. Now, expected value of xy is equal to the double summation over all possible values of x and over all possible values of y of x times y times the corresponding probabilities f of x, y. Substituting all the possible values of x and y taken as pairs, the summation will yield 3 over 14. Thus, expected value of x, y is equal to 3 over 14. For the mean of x, expected value of x is equal to the double summation over all possible values of x and over all possible values of y of x times the corresponding probabilities f of x, y. Note that the summation over all the possible values of x of x times f of x, y is the marginal distribution of x denoted by g of x. So the expected value of x is equal to the summation over possible values of x from 0 to 2 of x times the marginal density. This is now the sum of these products yielding 3 fourths. Hence, the mean of x is equal to 3 fourths. Similarly, for the mean of y, expected value of y is the summation over all possible values of y of y times the marginal distribution of y h of y. This gives the value one half. That is, the mean of the random variable y is now equal to one half. Since we now know the values of the expected value of x, y, the means of x and the random variable y, we are now ready to compute the covariance of x and y. Sigma of x, y is equal to the expected value of of x, y minus mean of x times mean of y. This is now equal to 3 over 14 minus 3 fourths times 1 half, which will now give us the covariance of x, y, which is equal to negative 9 over 56. I hope you learned something from this video. In my next video, I'll be discussing the covariance of two continuous random variables. Thanks for watching.